Hi, this is Red McNed, and here is my tutorial on building the uh, twisted hallway from Zelda Ocarina of Time. I noticed that there wasn't really that much of a uh, uh, much out there as far as people um, having solutions for this because it's kind of complicated to make a curving room in a, a block based game, but we won't hold that against Minecraft. You can do a lot of cool stuff in this game. Um, but this is kind of my attempt at it. Um, this also is not the final, I guess, version of it, too. My method makes it so that you can build it any length you kind of want to. Like, if you want it to be slightly longer, the twist will take longer. Ooh. So, really... It depends on what, how much room you have. Like I'm pretty sure this hallway ends up being 99 blocks long because it's a longer twist. And well, it's nighttime. Some of these hallways get really long, but it, you know I guess it depends on what you want. Um, bear in mind though that if it gets too short or too long, it'll actually lose the effect. Like you might not see the twist if it's too too short or if it's too long like some of these like these are the absurdly long ones this one is like almost 300 blocks and it's all I don't know it depends on what you want really but I make the options open and so here's the uh, sections now I'll, I'll go into each of these in detail but basically there's nine sections and you start with the first one on either side. Depends on how you want to rotate it. I'll say this right now. I know that the Zelda game rotates uh, counterclock uh, clockwise, and these are rotating counterclockwise. But if you want to go either way, then you just start from one side and go to the other. But you would put down a section like this, then you put down your next section, and then your next section, and then your next section. And I'm giving you a really good, trying to give you a really good view of each of these so that you, uh, nothing gets too confusing. But these are the sections you will be building if you are making this. And if you want it to be longer, you'll make two of these, each of these, or three of these, or if you want a shorter one of these. And actually, the red spot, I'm glad you asked. That's supposed to be like where the carpet is to make sure this is even more uh, clear if I can make it so. So as it turns, the carpet, like this is like where Link would be. So he's like, whoa, it's starting to get a little crazy. Oh, we are, we are on the wall. We are on the wall. <laughs> yes, we're on the wall. So now that I've shown you the parts, if you like what you see, we can get started. So the first thing you want to do is have some sort of a center point, just because it's it's better to get this thing centered. Uh, the square is a nine by nine square, so I'm going to start off with the, making the frame. So that's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not centered, so I'll just take one off here and put it over here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll uh, connect this up. And that's the first piece. It's also right there. I also would recommend if you have graph paper or anything, writing down these so you don't have to like, okay, where, oh, let's see, I'm right here. Okay, I'm gonna build the neck. Okay, now what? You know, you don't have to go back and forth. Um, I'm actually looking at my paper right now. Or am I lying? I think I'm lying. Hold on. All right, I have it. I have the paper. I wrote down all of those, so Consider it as like a numbered one, two, three, so forth. So the first one's here, and depending on how long you want the section, you'll put that many squares. Like for this one, 
I'll go ahead and do the uh, the three long one. So it helps sometimes to mark it. One, two, three. So each of these blocks is going to be where a section will be. And I'll probably just extend this for quite a ways. If it goes too far, uh, whatever. And if it's not far enough, we can just add and add some more. So that's the first section. The second section is going to be on the next block. And I will show you how to make it. Luckily, it starts off simple enough like this. I'm also going to make this one curve this way, which is the way it happens in the game, not this way. Also a fun fact is that it curves the same way whether you enter the front or the back. Just a fun fact. So hopefully you can follow me placing the blocks. Either that or you've written down the uh, pictures. This is going to be four here. One, two, three, four. I probably won't talk too much through this part since it's mostly you watching me build. I'll try not to blaze through this though. If there's anything I think you should know, I'll try to say it. Uh, one of the good, one of the things that will help is giving yourself some light. So I'm gonna do that really fast. <laughs> And ta-da! Congratulations, you have your next section. I would recommend putting a torch on each of them, just so you can kind of keep track of them. Uh, that's just from experience. It's a little bit easier to uh, remember where stuff is. So, the next section. If I can remember it. I'm going to be remember this, right? for the video I'm making? Okay. And, you know, just keep on placing the blocks like so. I'll try not to make too many mistakes like that. Hopefully, uh, if you're making this in survival mode, you're not going to be floating around anyway. Um, one of the things that actually will help in survival mode if you make some sort of scaffolding like right down the center, like in the middle, kind of like where the orange things are. So you can stand on it and reach all these places. next piece. It's going to be stairs. So these torches also serve as a as a uh, a marking of the center of the uh, hallway. So that's actually really useful in case you start kind of <laughs> having the hallway drift. Um, it's not ideal as one of as one of my friends used to say. <laughs> he still says it. He's not he's he's still around. He's cool. He's a cool dude. You also notice a couple things like most of these are kinda the same on bottom and top. They're just opposite.
Oh, I guess I should go why I, uh, I, I noticed that people were making survival maps of uh, uh, Zelda dungeons and stuff, and the Forest Temple even, specifically. And I saw comments about, you know, oh, Twisting Hallway. And like, you know, in reality, that's really hard to uh, accomplish. Like, it took me a while, and I had, to, I had to just, like, sit down and focus on how this would be made. By the way, there's three there. It's like there's three, three. There's going to be three on the top, too. Here, I'll make it pretty. There. OCD. So then you're going to put stairs in all of these. And after you do that, congratulations. You're uh, not even close to halfway done. All right. So you, the the hallways you can see is gonna rotate. Like the floors here, it's gonna go up. Now the floor is on here. And if you guess that this will take a while to make it go all the way around, you are correct. Um, luckily, it's gonna be mostly. mindless uh, placing of blocks, hopefully. Um, I'll stick around for this, at least, as long as I can. But once I bring this all the way around and I've showed you how to place everything, I'll uh, let you do the rest. Because I don't think you really want to watch me build this entire thing. Like, take a while. There's no shame in taking a break, because... I do, so I'm not going to put any shame on you. At least I'm not going to put any shame on you. It's the next section. And don't worry if this looks confusing. Luckily, the path's being marked by these and if you're following the video you're going in order and like anything you build in Minecraft is probably just gonna you know take time to really manifest and look like the thing something also worth noting is that after the uh, halfway point here of the curve um, this piece right here looks exactly the same as this piece. Like if I go boom, boom, it's the same piece. Same with uh, the second one and uh, same with all of them. So I tried to make it so that it wasn't extra complicated for no reason. I really don't want it to be as complicated as it is. So... I uh, wasn't going to be an additional complicator if I could help it. Oh, whoops. I did that wrong. I'd also like to point out that this is, uh, I don't want to say it's an advanced build, but it's kind of tricky. And, and also it just takes a long time. That's really why I would call it an advanced build. Hold on, I'm checking my uh, my schematics to make sure I'm not screwing up. doing good. So I know if I screw up, I'm making you guys screw up, and I don't want to do that too much. I don't want to do that at all, but I also don't want to do it too much. If I have to do it. I'll probably do it like twice. <laughs> I'm not going to try to do it, but I'll probably do it twice. That's my guess. But I really don't want to do it. There's three there. There's one. 
Also, something that helps me is I cycle through the 2, 3, and 4 hotkeys the best, particularly 2 and 3. So if you put your blocks, like your stairs and your stone bricks, or whatever you make this out of, there, then it'll save your hand. This is an endurance build, if I ever saw one. I think this is it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, no, uh, nine. Connect it up. And cool. So, go ahead and pat yourself on the pap. Pat yourself on the back for making it this far. And what I like to do actually is have a way of remembering exactly where the carpet would be cuz I'll put in the carpet later. But having a having a a thing like that just kind of standing on the spot will remind me like hey, this this path has not come around yet. We still have a long ways to go. So, I'm not going to actually uh, show you this next part of me putting this next piece in this next uh, piece of the puzzle, but it's exactly the same as what you saw before. So the next piece I'm building right now is this one. Like I just essentially made this one here. So I'm just going down the line again. Just going down that line. So I will uh, see you guys when I'm done with this. And by that I mean when this has gone all the way around and it's back here. Oh, before I leave, um, since this build does take a while, uh, go ahead and pop some music on that makes you happy. Otherwise, if you're cool with just, uh, you know, mind focused on the work, silence, or like, you know, you'll probably be here a little while. Um, this build does take some time. All right, so I've made it to the end. And if you're like me, your little piece that you've been putting down has made it all the way around, and you're back on the ground. And you'll be able to trace the path and kind of go down it, admire your work. Hopefully, you see a uh, a curve, sort of starting, or whatever. It's starting to take shape. So now the next step is to fill it in. So the reason why you have these torches here is so you can kind of see where each stencil is. And so to fill it in, you're basically going to do whatever is on here, and you're just going to bring it out into the next one. For instance, you're just going to bring whatever design is on the front one, you're just going to build it right up to the next one. Beautiful, almost beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And then on the next one, you will do the same thing, but watch for differences like that. So don't just keep bringing the same design out. That's that's not going to get you what you want. <laughs> it probably goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. And also be careful about stuff like this. Like you don't want to uh, get kind of lost on where this, the thing is, because then you'll think, oh, I should be filling this in. So you start doing this. No, 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 don't do that. Make sure that you know where the stencil is. And you do what it says. And hopefully this is isn't too hard to uh make work. Alright, cool. 
So what you're going to do is basically keep doing that until you get all the way to the end. Oh, I have a friend. And I'll cut back when I'm also done. All right, cool. So I just finished filling it all in. Hopefully you have two so that we're on the same page and we can go to the next one which is putting in the path. And this is where these little uh, markers are going to help a lot. So just uh, follow my lead. Hopefully things will be OK. It's going to be similar to um, filling in the spots before, because I'm just doing the same thing for the length of each section. So it's a new section, uh, new thing, and then you just carry that on. So it keeps going. Here, I'll, I'll just probably stick this whole thing out. I won't, uh, I won't cut away. Just make sure that there's no confusion. Oops. <laughs> I think the laundry is running. Hope it doesn't show up on this. So, yeah, cool. Now, obviously, this is going to take longer if you're in survival because you have to remine all of these again. But I still think this is the easier way than uh, keeping track of it while you're building the whole thing. I'd rather add the path later. way done. As you can see this is uh this the steps are gonna become a lot easier now. If you don't have smooth lighting it can uh you can get dark spots or light spots up there. They could look strange. Hopefully uh that doesn't really impact anything too much though. Just something to keep in mind. Cool, halfway there. And we're hitting the right walls because we're ending up where we're supposed to be. So we're going to keep going. Since I stuck it out with you this long, I uh, will keep going. Hopefully not moving too fast. If so, pause it. I realize that this video is getting long, so I'll, I'll try to speed it up a little bit. I really don't want to go so fast. It's a nice leisurely build. All right, there, there's a cut here because I just made a mistake, but I I corrected it so everything you watched is correct. So we're going to move on.
like nothing happened. Oops. Got too excited. Actually, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I can. I'm supposed to do that. So I wasn't. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Cool. <laughs> All right, here it is. That's the spiral. Um. This is, we're going for fanciness right now, but what I usually like to do is uh, have the torches spiral with the path. So this is uh, how I go about doing that. It's mostly just find spots where they'll stick. Yeah, one per section, maybe. There actually are a lot of spots to put them with this. Uh, this one gets kind of funky, so you just yeah, know, put it right there. Just keep following the pattern. Cool. That's one side. And this isn't an, ex an exact science either. Not at least for me. main thing I wanted to convey is just how to build this because I think it would be cool uh, a cool addition to a lot of those uh, uh, dungeon maps that do parts of uh, the Zelda games or just straight up the Zelda temples so hopefully this helps anyone who's trying to build uh, one of those and wants to put this in there If you want to make it fancy, we're going for uh, we're going for style points right now. You can do uh, let's see something like this. This is what I did in the intro. Like that's the door. Overhang. All right, cool. I think that's it. That's my build. I hope that was helpful. And if you want, check out my other uh, build tutorials.